Have y'all ever seen that movie, The Incredibles? In that movie, you have Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, and Jack-Jack. Well, in this situation, we have the Stream Deck, the Go XLR, and Touch Portal. If you don't get the analogy, what I'm trying to say is Touch Portal is like the Stream Deck and Go XLR had a baby. Touch Portal is an extremely powerful application, and it's filled with all kinds of wonderful stuff, and I'm very excited to show it off for you guys in this video. So that being said, let's cue that transition. Touch Portal can do everything from running an application on your computer, turning on your Philips Hue lights, or posting a clip from your Twitch live stream to Twitter. Touch Portal is made to optimize your workflow and just overall make your life so much more simple. You can set up macros for your day-to-day -day applications. If you're a video editor or photo editor, you can quickly create macros for the keybinds that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. If you combine Touch Portal and Voice Meter, you can get yourself an entire virtual mix from your tablet or phone. I've actually created a voice meter template for you guys. It's 110 buttons. It can do everything the voice meter mixer would do except for a few minor things. Francois Studio Mixer is filled with everything you would want for a virtual mixer with voice meter. At the touch of a button, you can quickly reset all the volume levels, mute the volume for all your inputs and outputs, or even restart the voice meter audio engine. You can also quickly route all the audio from your PC using the routing options available on the mixer. I've made it insanely easy for you guys to set up this virtual mixer. All you need to do is import that template from my Discord server into Touch Portal and it'll be up and running in no time. If you have followed my voice meter setup tutorials, everything will be working exactly how you want it to. All the labels are already there for you. So you have PC, communications, music, browser and microphone audio already labeled on the mixer. If you haven't followed my voice meter setup tutorials, it will be a little bit different for you but I have included buttons in my Discord server so that you can rearrange those buttons to match what you have set up. Keep in mind, in order to use plugins with Touch Portal and in order to have more than eight buttons on a page, you need to have the full version of Touch Portal. The full version of Touch Portal is only $13. It's insanely cheap for what you get out of it. If you're interested in purchasing the full version of Touch Portal, you can do so by going to the settings on your device and purchasing it from there. Before we continue, I do want to let you guys know we are doing a giveaway for five full versions of Touch Portal. The link to that is in the description below. So if you're interested in getting a full version for free, definitely join that giveaway. I have created a template for live streamers for the free version of Touch Portal. On the free version of Touch Portal, you get two pages, uh, four by two working space. So you get a total of eight buttons per page. So a total of 16 buttons with the free version. Keep in mind on Touch Portal, the main page that you're working on is like the central hub of all your buttons. In order to access an additional page, you need to actually create a button that goes from one page to the next page. So in all reality, you have 16 buttons, but technically it's 15 buttons if you want to exclude the button uh, that navigates you to the second page. With the full version of Touch Portal, you actually unlock 110 buttons per page as well as unlimited number of pages. So it's totally worth the price you're paying for it. It's actually quite a bargain. There are some things you will have to do prior to importing any page on Touch Portal. You will need the OBS WebSocket to connect OBS to Touch Portal, and you will need the Voice Meter Pickle plugin in order to connect your Voice Meter to Touch Portal as well. The link for both of these are in the description below. I will show you how to import the Voice Meter plugin into Touch Portal properly. As far as the OBS WebSocket goes, it's gonna be a GitHub page you want to scroll down to the bottom of that GitHub page and download the installer, uh, not the zip file, the installer, and just run that installer and it will automatically install to OBS for you. And then you just need to restart OBS and Touch Portal after you run that install. The link to the Voice Meter Pickle plugin will bring you to this page here. You won't have access to this download unless you sign up and sign in to an account on Share Portal. So make sure you sign up and sign in in order to download the Voice Meter Pickle plugin. When you download this plugin, it will download as a zip. So make sure you extract that zip file and then head back to the Touch Portal application. 
Now that you're back on the Twitch portal application, all you need to do is hit this wrench over here, go to import plugin, and what you'll import is that TPP file that you got from Voice Meter Pickle. If Voice Meter Pickle isn't downloading, it's most likely giving you a false positive antivirus scan. What you can do is open your Windows security application, go to virus and threat protection, virus and threat protection settings, and turn off that real time protection. This will allow you to download and install that plugin and then just turn this real time protection back on. I promise you it's a false positive virus scan. There is not a virus in the plugin. Now that you have Voice Meter Pickle installed properly, you're ready to import the Francois Studio Mixer into Touch Portal. All you need to do is download the Francois Studio Mixer template file from my server. It's in the download section of that server. Once you have it downloaded, what you'll do is go over to Manage, click Import Page, and then you'll import the Francois Studio Mixer, the .tpz file. Once you have it open, it'll look identical to what you're seeing on the screen here. I'm just gonna quickly summarize all the things that are built into this voice meter mixer here. So what you have here are the volume controls for all your inputs. You have hardware input one through five here and the virtual input one through three here. And then on the right, you have your hardware outputs A1 through A5 and the virtual outputs B1 through B3. All of them have the volume control Controls. You also have the muting options for all the inputs and the outputs. Something else that's cool about this mixer is you can control your media here with these three buttons. If you're listening to music or playing a movie on Hulu, you can quickly pause and play that media or skip the media using these media functions here. I've also created a Twitch live streaming page that you can import into Touch Portal for those Twitch live streamers out there. But there are a few things you need to change on that page for it to work for you and your OBS. Once you upload that Twitch page, it'll look something like this. The first thing you want to do is make sure all the navigation is correct. So the previous page button, you want to make sure it's going to the previous page. The home button, you want to make sure it's going to the main page. And the voice meter button here needs to be going to the Francois Studio Mixer. The next thing you're going to do is make sure all the scene selections are set up correctly. You'll have to go through and change the scene selections that you have here for each one of the scene buttons. You'll also want to go to the on event tab here and make sure the live scenes are matching the icons here. So this is an on and off switch for your live scenes. You want to make sure the icon that is lit up is the the scene that you want to be captured for this button and the uh, dimmer icon is not that same scene and you'll go through and make sure each one of these scenes is set up that way. You also want to make sure you change these audio selections down here. You have music audio, communications audio, browser audio, desktop audio, and microphone audio. So you'll go in here and make sure the OBS sources are set to the correct source. Then you'll also have to go through all the volume controls here and make sure that they align with the button that is above them. So you'll have to go through and make sure each one of the OBS audio sources is set correctly. The next thing you'll want to change is this webcam button here. This is an on and off switch for your webcam. What you want to do is change the source to the webcam or webcam group and make sure all the scenes are selected if you want this button to work. Last but not least, this OBS button here is an application button. So you need to make sure this is the correct file path for running OBS. You just click these three dots here and find that OBS 64 file or 32 bit if you run OBS in 32 bit. Those are all the things you'll need to change on this Twitch page for it to work with your OBS. The last thing you'll have to do is go to the settings, go to the Twitch tab and sign into your Twitch with Touch Portal to give it access to do things like create a clip, add a stream marker, play an ad, turn on and off sub mode, so on and so forth. This button here will actually create a clip and post it to Twitter all at once. So you need to make sure you're signed into your Twitter as well. That about sums it up for this video, guys. If you have any further questions after watching this video or if you run into any issues while you're setting it up or downloading any of the plugins, feel free to hop in my Discord server. We've got a pretty awesome support staff there. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do me a solid, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. If you're interested in supporting this channel and my Discord server, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash thefrancois. Thank you guys so much, and I will catch you next time. Peace.